guys, welcome back. It's your girl Jungle Naps here, and today's video is going to be all about my favorite affordable slash drugstore brushes. So, you know, none of us want to really break the bank to try to find brushes that work for a makeup. So I have a few in my collection, well, okay, more than a few really, <laughs> um, that are on the affordable side and they really give great results. And I feel like the drugstore especially has just been like killing it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so my first uh, favorite brush is the Morphe M439. Now this is a foundation brush. It's basically got very, um, let's see, like dense bristles here, but it's really soft. So sometimes I just apply a dot of foundation on here and I'll just kind of stipple it on to get it spread out. And then I really go in and I can buff it out. Now, what I love about this is it doesn't just absorb a chunk of product like a Real Techniques um, sponge or the Beauty Blender. I like that I can just save the amount of product I have and make my product last longer by using a um, M439 brush like this. So it's really amazing for just kind of quickly, if you're in a rush, you just wanna like spread out. And what I love is that, you know, it gets you that full coverage. It's not patchy or anything like that. So it's definitely a winner. So my next favorite is um, this Sonia Kashuk brush. It's called the number 32. And this is a concealer brush. And what I love is it's got this kind of like domed, triangular little point here and it places your concealer perfectly you can spread it out and then when you're ready to blend it i just like to like tap the product into my under eye region and it's so nice like all these brushes that i'm telling you guys are pretty soft because that's like my number one requirement but it's stiff enough to work with the concealer and make sure that your concealer doesn't end up like to spread out so that it's not covering anything, if you know what I mean. And I just love the aesthetics, like how Sonia makes her brushes. They're just, they look quality and they're affordable. So that's like a big, big, big plus. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eyes. Now, the first brush I have here is one of my favorite brands in the drugstore. This is an e.l.f. blending brush. So what I love about this is it's got this like, firm yet really soft bristles and if you're you know blending two different shadows together along your crease or maybe along the end here the outer region it's so great and the best part you guys is this is like a dollar so the thing is it's challenging with the elf brushes because sometimes they can be really hard to find if you just want to like find the product on the ground and not order it online so that's why you know, I haven't included all the e.l.f. brushes because even I can't find all of them myself, which is really frustrating, but this is like killer. Um, I have also the Sephora blending brush and I think that this even beats this out. So for a dollar, like, hello, <laughs> jump on this train. Okay, so next up, I've got this e.l.f crease blending brush. So this is more specific. It's if I compare it to the um, regular blending brush, these two right here, I don't know if you guys can see, but basically this one is a lot smaller and the bristles are a lot stiffer. So this is perfect if you're going to work on, let's say, um, like a cut crease or something. So you want to add the shadow to your crease area and you wanna like slightly diffuse it a little bit. So it's got, it's not dome shaped, but it's a lot smaller so you can like really get in to that region and work on it as opposed to having the eyeshadow just spread out with a regular crease brush. So next up, I've got um, this large shadow brush. Now this is from Wet n Wild, and this is also like quite affordable. I want to say maybe like two, three bucks. Don't quote me on that. I will have all the information down below in the description box. So first of all, I just love how cute this is. Like all white, it's got the like pink top here, and it's just like what I found is that this places like it's great for all over on the lid, 
but it places a light amount. So it's not like a compact, um, large shadow brush. It just kind of is great for getting like that base. If you've already applied your primer and you want to add your base color, you can really get in there, but it's not going to like really like pack that color on there like kapow, you know? And sometimes that's what you need. You just want a softer diffused base. So that's what this is for and it's great at that. Okay, so next up, this is another Sonia Kashuk brush and this is not like a sponsorship. I just really like the quality of her brushes. So this is also another um, large eyeshadow brush and this is more compact. The bristles are more dense and they're soft as well. But this is for when you really want to like get on all over your lid and add a lot of that color. Really make sure it gets on there. So instead of having a diffused look, you have like a like a kapow, like this is my lid, bitches. <laughs> Um, so yeah, again, super soft, and I believe this retails for maybe about $11 at the Target. Okay. So next, another crease brush is, again, from Sonia Kashuk. This is the number eight brush. Now, what I like about this is it's really great. Um, they say it's great for contouring of the eye, but I think that in your crease, it's really like great for more blending. Um, so it's got a lot of uses. It's not as uh, stiff and small as that e.l.f. crease brush, but it's more of like gonna give you that softer blending look in your crease. So this can also be used for um, powders, this can also be used for creams, and it's got that synthetic um, bristles. So I think it's great because you can use it for both, you know what I mean? So you really get that bang for your buck. Okay, so next we're moving on to the pencil brush. So what I've got here, again, is Sonia Kashuk, I know guys, um, but they're really good. This is the number 31 brush. Now what I love, it's a pointed pencil brush and these bristles are so soft. A lot of the times I have problems with other pencil brushes because I try to add um, some stuff to my lower lash line and it's so harsh. It just like, my eyes literally water up. But this one does not do that to me. So I love, love, love this. It really is awesome for placing that product, like I said, and diffusing your lash line if you wanna smoke it out or anything like that. And I just love another thing about the Sonia Kashuk brushes is basically it's got this like nice dip in the handles so you can comfortably place your hand and your fingers right here and grip it and it's just like I don't know if it's like more ergonomically correct or something but it's so easy to hold you know like and control your movements so that's a big plus okay so next on we're moving on to the other face brushes that I have and ugh, this next one is one of my favorites so this is a moda contouring brush so obviously they want you to use it for contouring for bronzer but i don't use it for that i use this for like setting my under eyes and any place that i've put my concealer to highlight i love 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 this because it's just so like like you can just manipulate it so easily, it's not stiff, and when you add your setting powder on there, you just lightly tap it, and it's just like got that perfect amount on there for you. You just place it on there, I do some light swooping motions, um, and it's cool. It's also like if you wanna use this to set your whole face, you can, it's just a little bit on the smaller side, so it'll take you a little bit of time, but it's not like the biggest deal in the world, you know what I mean? Um, but yes, I mean, I think this is like, five dollars at walmart so if you can find this and it doesn't it doesn't come in a set i don't believe but it's just one of their singular brushes if it's not sold out because it usually is <laughs> definitely go for it so on to the cheeks um this brush here is the morphe e4 and this is an angled blush brush i feel like i always get hung up blush brush <laughs> um anyway what I love about this is it's dense, so the bristles are dense here, but they're so, like, I can just fold it over, like, 
they're so like malleable and it's perfect for the cheeks because that way you can get that color distributed a whole lot more evenly and you're not going to get any patchiness i think that's my problems like i used to own a crown brush set and although it was really affordable and nice i just never really got the results that i was looking for and those shed a lot um, all the brushes that i mentioned here even this one like hardly shed and morphe is just like great overall quality is great so again this bl this <laughs> this blush brush is so nice nothing is ever patchy it just goes on like a dream so i highly highly recommend this brush from morphe okay so last but not least i have the elf contouring brush now this one is so great if you have like um a liquid or like a gel like consistency bronzer and you want to place that what I love is that these bristles are so stiff they're great for placing I use kind of like small side strokes along here and along my cheeks and when I really want to blend it out instead of switching to a beauty blender which is possible but why not use your brush I go ahead and I do small strokes up and down and that actually diffuses your liquid bronzer and it just looks so pretty, so nice on the skin. And this is like three bucks if you can find it at any drugstore. I mean, you know, it's not, it doesn't shed. It's gonna last for a long time. I've put it through quite a few cleanings and I haven't noticed any, you know, um, like degradation of the brush or anything like that. So um, I love it. Okay guys, so that's it for my favorite brushes. I wanna know the brushes that you guys love and the companies that make them because I'm always looking to try new things. That's what I love to do. So please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that button. All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Up on my buzzy, tell